This stretch of beaches is most perfect and varied. Going from east to west, from Lagos to Sagros, you can see them change from the yellow, calm and transparent postcard beaches to the wild, windy, green and blue west coast beaches. This transformation is stunning and you should visit them all. We'll show you what you cannot miss and we'll start at the tip, in Sagros. At the very western end of the Algarve is Praia do Belish, a secluded cove with a steep climb down some steps cut into the cliffs. It's only 500 meters long but rarely gets overcrowded. Conditions here are excellent for windsurfers and surfers can find a cracking left-hander when the waves get really big. There is a small parking area at the top of the cliff and a couple of restaurants where you can relax with an ice-cold beer. Praia do Tunel is located on the exposed northern side of the Cape where you can find the Sagros Fort. This large sandy beach is patrolled by lifeguards in the summer. It's popular with surfers and can have some really big waves when the conditions are right. Praia de Marieta is Sagros' main beach. It stretches for about 600 meters and has some great restaurants along the back. There are sun lounges and big straw shade umbrellas available in the summer. The beach is popular with the locals as it is flanked by cliffs on either side so is well sheltered from wind and strong currents and is a good spot for sunbathing. Parking is up on the cliffs but the walk down to the beach is easy. Praia de Baleira is a small beach situated on the eastern side of Sagres Harbour. Occasionally there are problems with the water quality here due to its proximity to the harbour. Not many people use this beach for sunbathing and swimming due to the noise and smells created by the boats, although it can be a good spectator spot if you're interested in the day-to-day -day activities of a fishing harbour. Praia do Martignal is situated to the east of Sagres Bay. It's surrounded by dunes and is very spacious and peaceful. It is the largest of the Sagres beaches and the best for swimming. It's very exposed to the north wind, which makes it great for windsurf. On those windy days, choose a beach which is protected from the north wind, like Belish. Lifeguards are on duty here throughout the summer. Praia dos Rebelinhos owes its name to the small pebbles that constitute this beach with no sand. Situated in between high cliffs, it is sheltered from strong coastal winds and surrounded by tough vegetation, a delight for nature lovers. Access to the beach is by foot through the Martignal Resort. Praia do Barranco is surrounded by a lush green landscape which attracts many artists. Diving schools bring people to this area because it has a great diversity of sea species. You can reach the beach via a sandy by-road off the N125 by turning towards the sea at Raposeira, but there are no signs whatsoever. Praia da Ingrina is made up of white sand and small stones. There's not much shade here, although there is a beach restaurant with cool drinks and fresh fish. It's a bit rocky on the western side, but parking is easy, plentiful, and right at the back of the beach. It's a good place for people learning to surf, with a regular small swell that breaks not far from the beach. The sheltered bay makes it safe for swimming too. You can reach this beach from the Raposeira on N125. Praia do Zavial is a secluded sandy beach with a pleasant beach bar in the valley behind. Although it's fairly popular, the fact that it's not located beside any resort and is only really accessible by car means that it rarely gets too overcrowded. To the west, there are some paths around the cliffs and some rocky outcrops for sunbathing. There are always lots of surfers here and it's a good place to snorkel too, just be careful of the currents. There's lots of space to park at the back of the beach and also some good spots to pitch a tent near the trees to the side. Praia da Figueira is a stunningly beautiful secluded beach that often hosts surf competitions. There are some great coves and rock pools to explore and it's generally quite deserted except of course in the peak of summer.
Praia das Fornas is most popular with naturists. It's easy to reach from the village of Figueira, but there are no facilities, so make sure you take something to eat and drink. Also, be aware that there's no lifeguard on this beach, so don't take any undue risks. Praia de Salema is a golden beach, flanked by cliffs at each end and backed by the village of Salema. It's great for families with safe swimming and easy access. It's still used by local fishermen as a landing spot for their night's catch. There are restaurants and bars along the promenade at the back of the beach where you can sample some of this delicious fish. Parking can be difficult in high season, as there aren't that many spaces available. There are some disabled parking spaces and the beach is accessible for wheelchairs. Praia de Boca do Rio between Borgao and Salaima can be accessed either via the dusty back road that runs between the two villages or from the main N125 turning off at Budench. There are no restaurants or other facilities here, it is totally undeveloped. It's usually frequented by camper vans and tour buses. There's a nice paddling spot for kids on the west side where the river runs into the sea and a pool forms at high tide. Scuba divers often come here to explore a French man-o-war shipwreck that lies not far from the shoreline. The next beach along is Praia das Cabanas Velhas. It's a small, isolated beach that is mostly rocky, though there is a small sandy area at the western end. An expensive beach bar serves simple snacks and cold drinks. In the evening, fishermen congregate on the cliffs at the western promontory. Praia do Burgal is a very popular family beach, with one of the best beach bars along the coast. It's at the end of a very narrow, steep, one-way street, Rua dos Pescadoras, which leads down from the village of Burgal. Parking is very limited, either in the square overlooking the centre of the beach, on or by the fisherman's ramp, or along one of the narrow streets in town. This lovely stretch of fine gold sand is enclosed by high cliffs on either side, and usually offers perfect conditions for swimming. Sometimes the waves can get a bit big, but only occasionally, and there is a lifeguard on duty throughout the summer months. Further east is Praia de Luz, a long golden curve of sand flanked by rocks at the western end where you can hunt for shellfish and crabs, and to the east you can see the Rocha Negra, a giant black rock jutting out of the cliffs. It's a great place for families and young people, with a wide selection of bars, restaurants and tourist shops dotted along the promenade that runs behind it. There's plenty of parking available near the beach, though it's not all free, so be sure to check before leaving your car there for the day. Praia de Luz is very accessible. There is a slope that leads right from the promenade down to the sand. Many bars and the local nightclub are located along the promenade behind the beach. They stay open quite late, so you'll often find groups of youngsters on the beach in the early hours.